Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Mega Man X Common Mission. So last episode we faced off against Scarface and now we'll be going off uh, to uh, the Rebellion's headquarters, so let's do this. How can I help you? You just fought uh, qu quite a tough enemy, X. I wish I could help out more, but I just wanna you want you to know that. My thoughts are always with you and the others when you're fighting out there. I'm always rooting for you. Teleport device destination set to Grave Ruins base. Would you like to head to Grave Ruins base? Sure. It won't be too long now, I'm sure. Let's give it our best. Chapter 9, When Giants Duel And that is done, now let's have a look at our party. Right now we had X, Massimo and Zero, which was the team that we actually used uh, for Scarface. Is that what we're gonna use now though? Hmm. Using Marino could be fun. Who are we gonna switch though? That's the question. Can probably switch zero for now. I've given her some force metal which should help her somewhat. One thing I do want to check though. It's Axel who has item capture, doesn't he? And she doesn't have any of that. So let's give him force missile for now and give that to Marino. Good. You can actually get other item captures from enemies in the desert, if I'm not mistaken. We've got those things, which means that we can't do much. Uh, Massimo! Huh! Wonder what this does. Uh-oh. We're locked in. Now what? Don't panic, Massimo. We're just stuck for a while. And there might be a way out. There must be some connection between getting locked in here and that weird energy bin. Well, we're not going to get anywhere standing around yapping. I don't know what that thing does, but we'll just have to figure it out. It's just as Zero says, be careful. Intruder detected. Sending security guards, engage immediately. Not much in the way of puzzle this time around, huh? Well, that's okay. Prions. Hmm. If we are getting prions this time around, that might actually be a good time to use Axel. He got a weapon that is actually good against prions. Turbo clock. Huh, she's dealing some of decent damage, or maybe it's those that are weak. Yeah, it's those that are weak. Bam. Yeah, I feel like Axel would be a good fit here. So that's it. It's kind of a remote controlled locking device. Well, the door's open, so let's uh... Oh no, the beam! Looks like the system is resetting. Quick everyone, run for it! Whoopsie. Well, if you hadn't interrupted me, I would have gotten it. Oh well. With a turbo clock, a Marino should actually be pretty helpful. This is nothing. Counter. Ew, that not hurt. Alrighty. So. You want to swap around Massimo for Axel. Fairly glass cannon party, if I've ever seen any. 
intruder detected, sending security guards, engage immediately. And from that point on, I'm not gonna repeat that. <laughs> Yeah. I uh, forgot to equip it though. Order! Yes, sir! Order successful! I find it strange that Axel gets weapons that are actually good against a particular subtype of enemies. So, the Prion Killer. It's locked and it won't open. This looks locked too. Well, that's not gonna send me anywhere now, will it? Oh. Well, it's not that great then. I feel so betrayed. This is far from the strongest of guns. Well, if you're not gonna be of any use to me, might as well switch back to Massimo. He's got the second version of that uh, lance that I grinded for back in Goldil's laboratory. I haven't grinded much for special metro weapons this time. Probably should do that soon. As we are nearing the end of the game, I'll probably get the occasion to get a few things that are interesting. One thing I'm wondering though. There was that locked door over there, but that might have gotten opened by this thing I just did now. Which means that going back might actually back might actually be a good idea. But this forces me to face those prions again. Yeah. Well, at least we'll know for sure. At least this goes by pretty quickly. Lots of tank energy too. So we need to do both, I suppose. Not sure how these things work. Frankly, I remember almost nothing from this part of the game. There we go. Here you go. Gotta say that hair on Marino that uh, kind of turns back up is a little weird. Getting treasure here is gonna be bothersome.
So. Almost nothing, basically. And only 5,000 zenny. Nothing too interesting, unfortunately. Well, no matter. So these. So basically, this is a giant labyrinth that is trying to get you to get our treasures, which will just make you fight the same enemies over and over. Did good, dearie. I do like having X with missiles. Gives them some way to deal more damage beside the action trigger and going into hyper. And it occurs to me that I've forgotten again to uh, use those build items that I've got. With build hyper, we might be able to do some pretty fancy shenanigans in the next chapter. Just show how far we came along. We're destroying these things like they're nothing. But then again, I suppose there are six of us as opposed to the one where we initially got these. Okay, that is done. What we got this time? Ah, some more serious ones. Good. Counter shield. Man, that's lame. That was the way to get back. I think it was an action trigger from her. Oh. Gotcha. Well, that worked at least. Counter. Doesn't do that much damage, really. Suppose I shouldn't care about those anymore. But it seems like each area we're gonna go in is gonna pit us against... Uh, how can I say... Uh, successively stronger types of prions. Like, for instance, we haven't seen any Bodo, Sferum or whatnot types yet. We haven't seen many Scarface ones either. Bam. Nearly there, but not quite. Direct hit. And bam. Alright! There's our second one. Oh my! Four of these and preemptive strike! I'll wow. say. This is just delightful. Like she Shay is saying, simply delightful. <sighs> Might as well do the action trigger right now. As weak as it may be, it may give the Massimo and the other one the, a chance to actually slay one outright. Well, hun, good luck with that. Awesome. Level up for Cinnamon. Zero isn't far off either. Three of them? Seriously? Uh.
It's gonna be tough to get anywhere on that base. That's the advantage of having X around. Fortunately, that didn't help us much. Shame that. This is nothing. Come on, hon, you can do it. Level up for zero. Now then. We got the Beam Miracle S. I have no idea what that is. Turning off main gate security. Sure will. Good. And uh, now then. What was that thing? Beam Miracle sounds like a weapon for Marino. Yeah, that's right. Fatal Blow boosts Zennies. Hmm. Two hits, 46. That's lower overall. Better shield, that's about it. I'd rather keep this one, really. Oh! This blade looks operable. Let's send it to the deployment center. So, yep, yeah, Nana's gonna be happy. Good for her. Oh, lovely. Oh, really? Doesn't make any difference, but I figure. I know, right? Alright, Han, you're up. Awesome. Need more power. Masmo is starting to have some interesting stats. But then again, we're facing really weak enemies, so... Enemies. We need enemies. <laughs> Old quote from uh, Warhammer Dawn of War. Those corn berserkers, man. Aww. Well, I suppose we can use X to uh, deal with that. Charge shots aren't nearly as good as the classic ones. I know it worked wonder back in Mega Man X1 and 2. Not so much in later ones as far as I remember. Then again I didn't mess much with those on the PlayStations. I need to get myself that at some point. Especially with my Nintendo Switch gathering dust and whatnot. Huh, oh, this dude too? Well damn. This series is coming to an end pretty quickly. I've got quite a bit of uh, grinding, shall we say, to do to face some of the optional bosses. But that should be over pretty quick, and after that the channel is gonna go into its new version. Which will probably involve more streams, really. Maybe 3 a week wouldn't be so bad. We'll see about that. 
Right now I wasn't feeling too good, so... Didn't do, always do two of them a week. Doesn't matter, though. That's not exactly what I want to do, but... Eh. Bam! Oh, seriously? You don't say. Yeah, good luck with that. Maximum power. I mentioned this before, but it's all like, like it kind of looks like the one from Mega Man X1. And Marido gets a level, which means we won't have to heal at all. Good for us, I suppose. Now, those guys. Annoying security in there. Probably ran out of ideas at some point. I always kind of wondered where those missiles came from. Probably from his arm cannon, but yeah. Let's see what you can do on your own. Well, not much if you're dead. Next. Alrighty. The annoying thing is that I actually can't skip those. This is nothing. Counter. Yeah, that should be plenty. Them. Next floor, I suppose. Level C security zone. Not sure why they're giving us tank energy. Turbo clock, item capture, and I hadn't seen we had a ferrum type over there. Mega Blizzard! Oh my! The more I see those prions, the more I feel like the cadre should have had shields. Or at least one of them. But I suppose the shields aren't considered cool in Japan. Usually. It's all about two-handed weapons. Not unlike the katanas of old. Oh, she's going fast, isn't she? Next. Assassin Mind. 
Huh. Less fancy. What is that? Doesn't look like that. Force metal, maybe. Assassin's Mind, 10% critical percentage. That's not bad. Not bad at all. But then again, that doesn't help me much. Might be a good thing for somebody like X, though. Then again, I do like those good lucks. Who could benefit from criticals? Maybe Axel. Well, that's gonna take a while. Kaboom. Nearly there, too. Off we go. Need more power. Gotta say though, it's good the good way to of getting you caught up in levels. So which one should we concentrate our efforts on? Obviously this one. But then again, wasting a Massimo move on this is kind of nonsensical. Oh, and he's gonna heal himself, of course. Yeah. <sighs> the turbo clock to somebody who can actually make good use of uh, the uh, action trigger would actually be a good idea. I'm thinking of someone like X who is pretty much central to our strategy. That quick, huh? Well, that's lame. Of course we might be able to cheat through this a little. Armor Peeler. Not nearly enough? Seriously? Well. Oh, counter. Well. At least that's something. You guys finish this guy, Massimo's gonna finish the other one afterward. Let's see, sub tank. Huh, our sub tanks weren't full, that's surprising. Did we get sub spart at some point? Hmm. Odd. Thank you. 
Power plus three, not gonna do me much. Shame that. Counter. Nice. Need more power. Another assassin mine. Could lead us to some pretty neat shenanigans. So, did that for no reason then. Eh, that's why you don't use robots to guard places. Okay, so seeing as this is gonna take a while, I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, please leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye!